there, I'm Virginia Lindsay of Ginger Cake Patterns and today we're gonna make uh, these really cute bibs that I've been making for years. Um, I usually make a bunch at a time um, to give, I'll give a grouping of them because they're so fast and uh, they are just really useful too for a new mom. She can wash them, put them on the baby, saves those cute outfits and still is really pretty and um, I'm really excited to share with you how to make them. Um, this is from a previous free tutorial that I did and um, so the first thing you need to do is go to that um, tutorial on my website and I'll give you the link down in the comments and print out the pattern piece and once you do that um, then you tape it, you cut it out and tape it together and then you can choose your fabrics and begin sewing. Now the first thing you're going to do is cut out your pieces of cotton for the bib. Um, you need to make a mirror image of two prints. I chose this, this green solid and this pretty vintage uh, yellow fabric. And so these two fit together in a mirror image. So often I will lay the two fabrics together when I'm cutting them out and just cut them together at the same time just to make sure that I don't um, cut a uh, you know two of the same and then I have an issue if you're using a solid it doesn't matter that much because you could print you know you can sew on either side of it but um, if you're using a two prints you need to make sure that they're mirror images and the same goes for the backing this is a cotton batting uh, that also is nice and absorbent for the baby and then it's a great nice natural material so layer together that cotton batting underneath the back of the bib and then the pieces together like this. I like to mark where I'm going to turn it inside out. It's the first, those are the first pins I put on and you want to turn it inside out on a straight edge. That opening is about three inches and then I just take a couple of these evergreen craft clips and clip it around just to keep it together. It stays together pretty nicely on its own, but you can also do this. That's probably good enough. And now I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and sew around the perimeter. I'm gonna start here, go all the way around, come up, around, nice and slow, and up here and down to there. Okay, here it is all sewn up. And um, there's the other side of it. Now there are some um, curves and corners that you need to take care of before you turn it inside out. I like to clip this sharp corner up here and then I just kind of um, will take out some of these corners. This isn't super, don't have to take tons of time with this. You just want to snip. If I had, oh there they are, they are pretty sharp all along this curve. When it curves out, you take chunks out of the fabric. When it curves in, you do these nice little clips to make, this is to make the fabric lay nice and flat. Okay, and then we have an opening right here. And you wanna turn the piece inside out. Here we go. It's all turned inside out. And what you're going to do next is take it over to your ironing board and press it nice and flat. Check for all those seams to make sure nothing, you didn't miss anything. Because it's a lot easier to fix now than after you do your top stitching. Um, there you go. And what I also like to use, one of my tricks for this, there's two ways to close up this opening. You can just get a little needle and thread and do a little ladder stitch or a blind stitch in there. And I'll give you a link in the comments on how to do that. But I also like to use this steam a seam light. This is a really fast and easy way to close up these types of openings. And you just follow the directions and um, put just one piece of tape right across here. And that's a fast way to do it. And it's, it's very permanent. And then when you top stitch over, it just looks very seamless. Okay, the bib is all pressed 
And now I'm just going to top stitch around the entire perimeter um, with my machine. One other thing I wanted to point out to you right here is that I'm using a walking foot. Uh, it, it holds things together, and especially when you're doing this, this, um, these curves, when you're doing the top stitching, it holds things together really nicely. It is not required, but if you have a walking foot, I would suggest using it. Okay, now the perimeter is top stitched and your bib should look exactly like this. Um, there's the back side and the front side. And the next thing we're going to do is apply the snaps to this corner and this corner. Um, I have this big crazy bag of snaps that I ordered. I don't know where, online somewhere. And um, you're going to need the male and the female parts. So you just want to push the prongs through. This is the backing, right like this, and push the prongs through so that you can feel them. They're like teeth they're going to bite into. And then put the little top of the snap right there. This is a wooden spool that I have, that I had around. Put it right on top. And then it is nicely attached. You see the back and the front. It's not coming off. Give it one extra if you want. And the snap is ready to go. I like to use snaps because I feel like um, the baby can't pull it off. Now on this other side, you're going to use, you're going to go the snap, the, um, the, the female part is going on the back, on the, on the back, on the solid fabric here. Then you place the spool on top of that. And voila, isn't that nice? And you have a perfect little bib. There's another one I made with just solid fabric. And then I made these two with, uh, I split it in half so that you have a little bit more interest. In the back I top stitched it also. Um, so you can also do that. Uh, so there's lots of options you can make quilt tops or whatever you want to do um, to give as kind of a grouping to your friend who's having a baby or for your own baby.